I love the fact that a lot of people come in here and have the same passion for plants that I do and they always come back and show me pictures of, of my plants that they put in their yard and I'm always blown away by how it looks and how people care for stuff in their yards. Hey, my name is uh, Jim Williams. I'm the owner proprietor of Cream of the Crop Nursery, which I'm located right down here in Charlotte Hall, right adjacent to the farmer's market. I've been doing this now for about 11 years full time. I got into it because I really love working with plant material. I grow about 80% of what I carry right here, right on site, which makes me different from most of your retail nurseries that I am a grower who sells straight to the public. I carry, a, I carry a broad spectrum of trees, shrubs, and perennials for which the customer can use in their landscape design. Crepe myrtles in July tend to be your best seller because that's when people see them blooming in the median strips of the highways and in people's yards. And as soon as they see those flowers, they come here and they want what they see out there in the median strip in other people's yards blooming. Red tends to be, for some reason, the best selling color of all your crepe myrtles along with the magenta colors, your real bright neon colors. People tend to like a lot. And I sell a lot of those throughout the season. Knockout rose is by far the best selling rose. The shrub rose, which all your floribundas are pretty much basically a shrub rose. I grow a lot of those to afford people different colors rather than the color schemes that are limited somewhat in the uh, knockout rose series. But the floor bundles offer you purples, orange, multicolors, and they perform just like a knockout. I love the floor bundles. Yeah, they do very, very well. And I try to grow a lot of your top, what they call top 20 roses. This is another one of the big sellers that I carry, uh, hibiscus. They've come out with another, a lot of new varieties as far as foliage color. This being one of them, a new proven winner is called Holy Grail keeps that dark purple foliage with the bright red flower and this one is a, is a much tamer hibiscus it only gets to be about four to four and a half foot so it's a much easier hibiscus to manage than some of your old-fashioned varieties that tend to grow six foot tall they're harder to manage this is another plant that we carry here is called skip laurel it can be used as a border privacy and one of the as good aspects of this is is that it can take either shade or sun. So you can per pretty much virtually put it almost any, this will get eight to 10 foot tall, but it can be kept shorter by trimming. This is another uh, holly that I carry called Christmas Jewel. It looks kind of like a foster holly, but this holly right here gets like eight to 10 foot tall. So it's a lot tamer holly than some of your others that will get 15 to 20 foot tall. So it has a lot of versatility. And it also is a very heavy berry producer. This is another one of your exotic weeping plants, which is called Ruby Falls Red Bud. It grows very similar to the Japanese weeping maple. Most of the stuff that you see back here and throughout my nursery, I grow from bare root or baby plugs. So it's grown right here on site. That way I can afford the consumer a 40 to 50 to 75% discount off of all your plant material across the board. Yeah, throughout the nursery, I carry a lot of different colors and textures so that people, when they come in here, they can put together a landscape design that, for real, it doesn't even have to be blooming. It could just be all foliage and still give you the same benefit of a landscape that is covered in flowers. This right here is one of your most popular of your privacy trees, Green Giant Arborvitaes. I grow these right here on site which these would retail for like $19.99, just about at any other nursery. And being that I grow them, I can sell them to the consumer for $12. This is another fountain grass that I just found last year called Puppy Love. I tend to like this one an awful lot because of the fact that the plumes is a much larger, showier plume and it tends to thrive better through the winter than your typical Hamlin grass. Pierce Japonica right here, you can see where this is growing. It's forming its new flowers for the next spring. They bloom like in the first part of April, clusters of white flowers all over them. And they set their flower buds in the summer and carry them through the winter. So you get different aspects of aesthetics throughout each season. 
This right here is no, another one of your more exotic Japanese maple, coral bark maples. They have chartreuse color throughout the summer, which gives it a great big pop against a lot of your darker green colors. And in the winter time, the aesthetics of the stems turn the harden off to a bright red in the winter time. People aren't accustomed to coming in and seeing baby plants in a pot growing. They're used to seeing a plant coming from a greenhouse that's sold to a retailer that's fully mature and in bloom when it's actually not supposed to be in bloom at that particular point in time. It's all out of sorts. It's peaking when it's supposed to be just starting to grow. This right here is one small example of what I, what I do. This is my ornamental kale that I will be growing for the fall. Now these right here are some of the mums that I grow. This is an example of a fall bloomer that I grow and sell to the public. These would typically run anywhere from five to eight dollars per plant and I sell them across the board for four dollars. I have people that come by to bring me their pictures and I can sit there and I can design it right from a picture as long as I have the dimensions and the amount of sun that they get and that way they're very much happy because they feel like they've also been a part of putting it together, which they have. I'm Lili Majaraman. My husband Krishna and I visit Jim practically every week to buy plants. Little plants, big trees, we just adore his personality and the way he takes care of his plants. It's been amazing for our home and the office to have his plants there. Thank you. Hi, I'm Eleanor Williams. I'm Jim Williams' mother. He's the owner of Cream of the Crop Nursery. And every now and then I come down and I help him out at the nursery with the customers, sell a few plants and enjoy the scenery. Jim puts his heart and soul into what he does here at the nursery. He loves what he does. He's great at it, very knowledgeable, loves plants, and he takes great care of them. I have customers all the time telling me how my plants look so much better than any other nursery in the area all across the board. They're always happy with the fact that they get customer, excellent customer service when they come see me and that's the reason why they keep coming back for my customer service, my pricing and my quality.